Hey guys, welcome to Blonity Daily. First, my little disclaimer, this is no financial advice, my own opinion and estimates. My estimates could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers, be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Please be aware that I'm invested in all of these companies and I'm very bullish on this uh, despite the price right now. Yeah, we can see Bitcoin is still here in this consolidation phase. We have this triangle here. And yeah, we have this huge support line here. This is this widening channel. Um, if you follow me since the beginning, we're following this channel since three months or so. And it was a lot of resistance here from 10,000 from the start of the bull run here. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Then we were able to break through. And now it's a huge support line here. We can see it. Yeah, we pushed a little bit through here, but uh, jumped right back into this triangle. And today we touched this line again a little bit. Um, down the line here to fish some uh, stop losses here, but now we are back and Yeah, it, it looks like um, Yeah, we we're we're uh, up right now. We're um, close to zero percent as so a close close to green right now Yeah, and we have to see uh, what's going on in the next upcoming uh, hours and days uh, Do we break to the upside or to the downside? Um, I mean, if we break to the upside here out of this triangle, this would be very bullish. And I think this could be the start of the next big leg up. I mean, it it will increase slowly then, but yeah, the, the direction is clear then. But if we break to the downside here, um, yeah, I expect a little bit more uh, sideways action then. Yeah, but we will see. Uh, we You never know with Bitcoin, but very exciting right now. Uh, I think the decision is will happen in the next two to three days. So yeah, we will see. Okay, Ethereum right now in green. Um, it looks very strong, Ethereum right now. It's up, up, up. Um, yeah, it wants to make a new all-time high, I guess. But our miners here in Canada, five close to zero, HUD eight minus 1%, um, Bitfarms minus 8% and Argo yeah, in the US is right now in green. Um, yeah, I, uh, Bitfarms took a hit today, minus 8%. I don't know really why. Um, yeah, but we will see. Then we have Riot Blockchain here, zero. Uh, Mara is doing good right now. So I think the market likes to move into these Bitcoins. Um, yeah, I was thinking a little bit about this move. And I think um, in the end it was a good move. It was not a typical move from Miner. But Mara was late to the party. They started in 2020 with mining. Um, all the other companies, they, they were a lot early, um, like HUD8, like Bitfarms or like um, Argo Blockchain. So um, I think um, for Mara, this was a good move because now they have, they, they're gonna have a lot of hash rate in the, in the upcoming month. Um, if they can uh, install all these miners and build a facility, um, there's also a little bit of a risk, but um, I hope they will tell us soon what's the plans here. And yeah, and now they have a huge hodl excellence, uh, which is also very important for me um, to value a miner because a pure producer, which sells all the Bitcoin, um, this um, creates not that big a shareholder value because if you have the Bitcoin in your inventory, the Bitcoins will grow and you have to do nothing. You only hold these Bitcoins. And it's like a gross mining margin of 100%. If you have like 3000 Bitcoins, like HUD8 right now, um, yeah, mined for like 3000 US dollars. And maybe at the end of the year, they're at 300,000 or 200,000, I don't know. So that's a, a 100x increase uh, without doing anything. It's only holding. And this is so efficient because the, mi the margin is like 100% or 99% because you have some custodian fees and so on. But um, that's very important for me to value a miner. You need hash rate, you need operational excellence, but also hodl excellence. And yes, that's very important, I guess. So yeah, we have to wait and see a little bit uh, what the miners are doing. Um, right now it looks better. Uh, Bitcoin right now here, 32,340. So it makes a move to the upside, but it's still too early to celebrate, I guess. Okay, now we have the hash rate here, 165 exahash. So the hash rate is growing. We expected that it's not that fast growing. I think it will pick up um, in the summer or so. We will see. Uh, the next difficulty adjustment uh, right now is forecasted with 2 to 5% within 10 days, but a lot of things can change here. So this can can go to 10 to 10%. We're still very early in this um, 
difficulty cycle here. We have four days right now, so 10 days left. Yeah, but it's it, it will grow uh, the difficulty, but maybe not that big as some expect. Okay, today there were no big news as I'm aware of, so I want to show you, talk a little bit about fundamental know-how here. So here you have the mining profitability from um, 2016, um, from the last halving here. We can see the halving here, the mining profitability dropped um, till today. So yeah, then we had this huge bull market in 2017, mining profitability picked up and peaked at 3.8 US dollars. So with the uh, most efficient miners today, like the S19, you, can, you could have made like um, 500 bucks a day with one miner because 3.8 US dollars with multiplied with 110 terahash. So this is, it's like 400 US dollars. Yeah, but then the, the price of Bitcoin peaked at uh, 20,000 and then we had this huge drop here, uh, the bear market. So the mining profitability, yeah, it was not only the price which um, crushed the profitability, it was also the increase in hash rate. And this is very interesting. When the bull market here was starting in, in January 2017, the hash rate, yeah, it increased, but not that significantly. Yeah, in relative terms, yes, it increased strong, but in absolute terms, not that big. But the big rise was after the bull market, like from January 2018 um, until uh, October 2018 or so. So I think what happened is that a lot of um, people, they sold here their coins at the peak and they said, oh, we go to mining because it's so profitable to generate cash flow. And they started their new companies. They raised a lot of capital or take some loans, huge capex. And yeah, the, the hash rate increased and the price dropped. So the mining profitability decreased even more. And a lot of companies went bankrupt at that time. So we can see here the capitulation phase in the hash rate. And I think this will happen again. Um, so we are right now here in the mining profitability. Um, I expect something like the peak at $1.20 because the machines are more efficient. So we're not going to see again like 3.8 US dollars as I think. I think it's three times lower. This is my estimation here. So we are going to be like here. And yeah, the hash rate after this bull market will increase significantly because a lot of people will step into mining. They think they will make a huge profits, but what they do is they go bankrupt. And this is a chance for our miners because they are very early. They survived the last bear market. They can have huge cash position at the end of this year. Let's say if Bitcoin goes to 200,000 and they sell a lot, like 1000 Bitcoins, you have 2000, uh, 200 million on your balance sheet. And yeah, then you have to wait um, until these um, new companies, they're go going bankrupt or they, they're looking for a strong partner to support. And then you can buy these guys. So I think there's also a huge opportunity for our miners because they now they're established. They pay down the debt right now and they can survive the bear market very easily, I guess, because they will have a lot of cash to do this and they can grow very big. I think uh, in the in the bear market in the beginning, the the stock prices of our miners they will drop significantly. But um, yeah, first of all, they will be um, profitable for a while with the miners, like one year or so, I guess. Um, and yeah, then they can make uh, these these uh, these uh, M and A deals um, to buy the smaller miners um, to increase their position. And yeah, they will grow to giants, I guess. So this is going to be very exciting. Okay, what else do we have? I want to show you the Google Trends. This is also a nice metric. Um, so in 2011, 12 here, we had the first little bull run here. Um, the Google Trends, so that means how many people do search for Bitcoin. This is a random number here. I don't know what it means, but in relative terms, it's very exciting. So we had the number seven here. In the 2013 bull market, uh, we had uh, like 60 or uh, 66, so 10 times bigger. And in December 2017, we had like 600. So this Google Trends here increases like 10x, like the Bitcoin price. And yeah, this is a very good metric to, to, to forecast the peak here. Yeah, and right now we are at 196. So I expect that we are going again 10x from 600 to 6,000. And that would mean that we have like 30x to go from here because we are at 200 to go to 6,000, we need 30x. So we are still very, very early in this bull market. The public is not aware of the thing. Um, they were a there was a lot more hype in 2017. 
and this will happen at the end of this bull run too. The, all the hype will, will jump in and then our miners will get these crazy stock prices in the end. Um, no one will look on, on PE ratio or something like this. It's all about hype. No one cares at the time um, what's what's the earnings or something like this. They will all think it's going to to 1 million, uh, the stock price or so. And that's the time when we sell. Um, this will happen again, this crazy hype here in the last uh, weeks here of this bull run. Uh, people will go crazy. People will pay everything for these stocks, for Bitcoin, for Ethereum. Yeah, and that's when we, when we sell a huge chunk, I guess. Okay, um, so what else do we have? We have the average transaction fee here, the historical chart. So this is also a very nice metric we have to watch for this bull run. Because we can see here in um, January uh, or in, in December 2013, the last, last bull market, we had like transaction fees of like, yeah, the maximum was like 50 cents or so. And in the end of 2017, we had like 55 US dollars. So from bull market to bull market, we had a 100x increase. And this is very important to understand that because people think, yeah, because of the, the, the block reward halving every four years, the miners will not be profitable in the future. There will be no Bitcoins uh, be mined and, and yes. But um, you have to understand that there's going to happen a flippening from the fixed block reward to the transaction fees because the miners get both. They get the fixed block reward and the transaction fees. Right now, the fixed block reward is a lot higher than the transaction fees, but this will change in the future. The, the fixed block reward will, will be halved every four years, but the transaction fees will rise. So that's what we can see here. And I think here uh, we can... Yeah, and the, the maximum could be like we can see another 100x. So from 55 US dollars, that would mean we had we could have peak with uh, with 5,000 US dollars. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much, but uh, I think 1,000 US, 1, US dollars is, is very possible in this upcoming bull market um, because when Bitcoin is at 200,000 and the people want to sell, they want to spend these things, they don't care whether it's 1,000 or 2,000 US dollars because the the the... the space on the bitcoin blockchain is fixed uh, there is not no more, more space if, if the block is full the block is full and the market will decide which um yeah what what price uh, want the people to pay to to get on the blockchain and i think there will be crazy fees uh, our miners will make additional to the fixed block reward and the huge prices the huge mining profitability they will increase even more significant with the transaction fees here because we can see there was a huge peak okay it was very short term and then it dropped again hard but i think the drop will not be as big as it was then because yeah it's only uh, like 400,000 transactions per day or so what the bitcoin blockchain can do so this is very slow yeah and uh I think the, the, the transaction fees, people are miss, uh, often miss these, uh, these transaction fees because they're very important for our miners in the future. And I think uh, mining will be profitable for a while, I guess. Okay, guys, so I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.